Hello, cheers from Brazil. This is Dr. John Oliveira again, uh, discussing some important and interesting issues about brain calcification, also called Fars disease. So, our channel is mainly dedicated to this condition, which is still poorly unknown and underdiagnosed and undertreated. So, we hope that with more videos like this and from other colleagues, more people will have a better diagnosis and better treatment. So, today I will comment on how the calcifications, they show up, they develop, and they grow. And I found a way to show how they look like in a very clear way, I believe. So, first of all, when we compare the pattern of calcification in different generations, we can see that children affected by brain calcification, they already have uh, spots of calcification on their brain, on basal ganglia especially, basal areas of the brain, and also cerebellum. And they might look already like the size of a, of a peanut. So, as you grow, as you develop through, uh, as a teenager, as an adult, as an older person, those calcifications, they grow, but they grow very slowly. That's why we don't find, uh, or we find very rarely in patients with brain calcifications, symptoms that are severely acute, uh, symptoms that show up uh, unexpectedly. Usually the symptoms show up very slowly or sometimes they don't even show up. Uh, around 30% of the patients with brain calcification, they don't have symptoms or they don't have symptoms much later when the calcifications are much uh, larger. So as you can see here at the styrofoam ball, we have uh, approximately the size of what some pe some patients have on their brain but on both sides of the brain so those brain calcifications they would uh, deposit on the behind your face on the basal part of the skull and the the brain and they also show up on cerebellum on the back of your head and those are the most uh, common places where you will find the deposits and if they really uh, expand they really grow after more and more time you can have the same aspect but just in the different size here you have the two balls of styrofoam and they will stay on the same places and they basically will grow more and more and usually very slowly but as the, the calcification gets bigger the symptoms show up more clearly and in patients older than 70 or 80 years old those uh, small spots on the brain on the basal ganglia might also be found on other parts in the frontal lobe but usually not as bigger as we can find in basal ganglia so i hope this video will help you to understand and visualize better how this lesion develops and how it looks like in the brain of the patients till next time